Okay, everybody. I'm Zach Hall, and he's Ryan Leverone, and we're yes, here he at uh, he. I'm gonna talk to you in the third person the whole time. That'd be perfect. That, no. that, um, yeah. <laughs> we're here at DJ Collectibles, and he has a sweet deck that he wouldn't even tell me what was in it because it was refused. so cool. I yeah. utterly refused. I was trying pretty hard to get it out of you. You need the surprise factor. You need the surprise factor. Even for me. Yeah. So tell me about it. This I have not seen a single card in this deck, so this is all new to me too. Okay, so genesis of this deck, uh, for a long time, we had previous Titanium Series winner Mike DeCoste with the, the Hollow One Vengevine deck. Yes. Um, he obviously was great for him that day. He uh, crushed since it. since then, he has uh, soured on the deck just slightly, just just running into the inconsistencies of right. it. Really hating the fact that. You know, there's this graveyard hate out there that's just really miserable to play against. Um, so, a couple weeks ago, found this deck online, and we've taken it from there. You're a net decker? I, I do net deck occasionally. He's a net decker, folks. We, well, we net decked this, and then we improved it, is okay. what we did. Is okay. what we did. So tell me about it. Yeah, so we got the pretty straightforward... 18 land for just any... I see any, all black red lands. Just all black red lands. Okay. Just one stomping ground for the old ancient grudge on the board. Uh, we're going to start with the creature base. With okay. the old uh, Flame Blade Adept. Flame Blade Adept? Flame Blade okay. Adept. One, yeah. two menace. Yep. One, two menace. We get yep. the one, two menace. Gotcha. Uh, whenever you cycle or discard a card, plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Okay. Um, okay. What That's... cards do we want to discard? We, we might want to discard like a Blood Gas type card. Blood Gas, good card. Um, we want to discard Street Wraith, I bet. We want to discard Street Wraith. We're going to be cycling our Street Wraith plenty. Uh, we're going to be uh, discarding uh, format staple Flame Wake Phoenix. I don't even know what this does. I skipped Fate Reforge. What does this do? Uh, this is a flying haste. Uh, one red, red creature has to attack each combat. If you have Ferocious, which is if you can control a creature with power four or more at the beginning of your combat step, he's one. Um, you can pay a red to return it from your graveyard to Ooh, play. Okay, Blood Gas number five and six. Five and six. Yeah, Blood okay. Gas five and six. That's cool. Basically. Um, other four power creatures we might want in this deck, if we're going to be discarding a lot of cards, we might want the hollow ones. Of course. Uh, we're going to keep the industry standard as set by Mike DeCoste. Is this the best card in the deck? Um, it's definitely up there. Um, it's... All your best draws do involve it. Um, involve it or Flame Blade Adept. Um, a lot of the times you want recursive stuff against more grindy decks. Right. Um, these are going to be more important against the Juns and Jeska controls of the world. But um, on top of this four power creature, we also have the four Gurmag Anglers. The Angler, yeah. Yep. Okay. No Tassiger. No Tassiger. Anglers only. No Tassiger. We can't activate Tassiger. Uh, uh, we, we, you might want one just to activate Flame Lake Phoenix. I, I don't know. We haven't gotten that deep on this deck. <laughs> We've gone deep on this deck. We haven't gotten that deep. But we're we're not so deep that we're above playing Forest Street Race. Okay. okay. You, just, you just have to play Forest Street Race. Fundamentally um, uh, a broken card. Speaking of fundamentally broken cards... Um, the other contender for best card in the deck, uh, ah, Faithless Looting. Faithless Looting. Faithless Careful looting. Study Plus. Yep. Careful Study Plus one. Plus cards. Um, and we wanted to go real deep on discard. Okay. So we have to play more discard than just Faithless Looting. Okay. So one we, have to, we have to play the Cathartic Reunion. Okay, yeah. We classic. have to play the Cathartic of Reunion. Um, Don't tell we, me there's Tormenting Voice. We are playing Burning, Burning Inquiry. Inquiry. Yes. I love We're this playing card. Burning Ink. I have a play set of foil burning inquies for so for my sake, I hope you win, and I hope this deck is sweet. Yeah, this this card, um It's an interesting one. Uh, for those who don't know, and I'm gonna guess that's the majority of people, because I had to read this card. It was in times. one set. It's in one set, just in M ten. Uh, one red, each player draws three cards and discards three cards at random. Yes. At random, yes. so you go turn um, one burning inquiry. They discard all their land, and you just win. This this thing, it's it's so weird because you you have it in there because it's the non symmetrical effect of you being able to just discard. Like you want to discard cards for flame blade adept. Right. If you discard three cards, that automatically makes any hollow one free. Okay. Uh, you can okay. easily turn one hollow one in this deck. Um. But yeah, there's sometimes you just thought easier your opponent too. <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy. People have to play really weird when you play this card. Yeah. yeah. Um, please, please tell me there's waste knot in your deck because I used to play a deck that waste knot and burning inquiry. There's, there's no waste knot. The, the remaining cards are just fire. They're, we just have burn. Okay. That's uh, we reasonable. just, we just have four lightning bolt, four fiery temper, eight lightning bolt, um, eight effectively eight lightning bolt. Um, yeah. The way that this deck plays out, it's a fake graveyard deck. 
people think that you're super reliant on your, on your graveyard, you're, you got blood gas and flame like phoenixes, you don't need your graveyard to win. People, like, board in cage and uh, rest in peace against you all the time, you're like, okay, I'll just play these. Hard cast I'll just, I'll just I'll just hard cast my cards. It's, it's taking the fear that you had when you're playing the Vengevines of the world, the Dredges of the world, and you're just instead playing good, aggressive creatures and burn to back them up. I gotta tell you, man, this deck looks terrible. It looks real bad. It looks terrible. It looks very bad like, on paper. You say this, but yet you don't really have creatures. You have like a 1-2 and a 2-1 and a 3-4 yep. you're never gonna cast. And... Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's amazing how fast you can cast large, large creatures. The... It's so easy to hollow one on yeah. turn one. It's so easy to Gurmag Angler on turn two. Uh, people just don't have the ability to... You, you, you're playing an interactive deck with Reach. I mean, you're playing a, a, a deck that has the ability to go along with creatures that just keep coming back and back okay. and back. But you don't need that against a lot of decks out there. If, if you're... Band company opponent just brings in their rest in peace. You're just like, great, cool. You board out your blood gas, maybe. Yeah, you board. You don't want blood gas against the humans of the world. Uh, against any 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 deck that can brick wall it. Um, little sideboard tech. We do have four anger of the gods in the side. Oh, board. nice anger of the gods in your graveyard deck. I love it. Yeah, love we do. It. We do have anger of the gods in our graveyard <laughs> deck. Uh, the deck is pretty cold to uh, to dredge itself. So it originally had four ley line. But then I realized how bad Leyline was against the rest of the format. Yes. So we just... There's probably one Dredge player in the room. There's going to be one Dredge player. There's going to be more than one Collected Company player yeah. in this room. There's okay. going to be more than one Human player. Um, really, the only way to beat this deck, apart from just continually pressuring the creatures and having ways to remove from the graveyard, like with a with like a scavenging ooze or something along those lines that to truly grind through like card after card after card the only way other way is to win the board this deck gets on the board so fast oh, oh you're good don't worry about it um now we the tournament's about to start so we have like one or two minutes talking through the rest of your sideboard um i imagine there are blood moons you have to have blood moons oh right? we don't have blood moon we don't need blood moon what? we we you don't need uh, how do you beat eldrazi tron how do you beat eldrazi tron yeah you're just on the board fast they're gonna play a four four that takes your best card they they uh, they can get on the on the board if they want. They okay. they the only good draws they have are the turn two four four draws. We have lightning axe on the board. Oh, okay. As a, as a way of dealing with the large creatures. That's good. Um, something that's been bandied about it a little bit is big game hunter, which is a fun yeah. one. Yes, um, that card is so good. Just in terms of sideboard slots, that was one of the last cuts, unfortunately. Um, we do have uh, the only other bad matchup that I've really run into that is truly heinous is burn. Burn's not mm. a good match. Uh, so we got the old tech, the Dragon Claw, against that deck because uh, collective brutality, while it works with our game plan, is just not not doing enough, unfortunately. Really? Yeah, wow. it's that must be a really bad matchup if collective brutality doesn't do enough. Yeah. Well, the thing is, um, collective brutality is obviously like doing something really good, but we have our own red spells to play. Yeah. On top of Dragon's Claw, I see. So we take like what is a really unwinnable matchup to just. Dragon's Claw is it's the like game when you, It's like when you mulligan to the ley line, but you're it's, mulligan it's, to the Dragon's Claw. Yeah, exactly. Claw. So we have three of those. We have uh, the two Ancient Grudge, we have the two Lightning Axe, the four Anger, and four Thoughtseize. Wow. Uh, we just want to be able to punch through the combo decks and occasionally some you know, Cryptic Command type Jeskai Control decks to just uh, get the last good card, basically. Ryan, this deck looks awesome. Black, red. You don't discard. mean that. It, it, no, it, it, it really pretty, does. It looks pretty bad. I wasn't. I wasn't with it until this card, the burning inquiry. Yeah, the this, burning this inquiry. This deck looks real bad on card. paper. I'll, I'll be the first to say it. I, I was, I posted this in the in our group chat, and people were just like, "Why did you post uh, this on Playboy? Like, what are you What are you doing? Is yeah. this proper? Like, what's up, man? It, it, it there's a lot of comments in this <laughs> deck. Um, but yeah, it just turns out a ton of them are are out of this world when combined with each other. Well, well, the player meeting is about to go up, Ryan. I hope you do well. I Thank hope you, so you win. Um, good luck, sir. Thank you.